Blender Materials and Textures for Beginners Tutorial Welcome to your beginner-friendly guide to materials and textures in Blender. If you've ever wondered how to make your 3D models look realistic or stylish, this tutorial will show you the basics of adding color, texture, and detail to your objects. Let's get started. What are materials and textures? In Blender, materials define how the surface of your object looks. They control properties like color, shininess, roughness, and transparency. Textures are images or patterns applied to these materials to add detail, like wood grain, metal scratches, or fabric weave. Together, materials and textures bring your 3D models to life. Creating a basic material. 1. Select an object in your scene and go to the Material Properties tab, represented by a sphere icon in the Properties panel. 2. Click New to create a material. You'll see basic settings like Base Color, Roughness, and Metallic. Base Color. This sets the primary color of your object. Think of it as the paint applied to the surface. You can choose any color or even connect a texture to it. Roughness. This determines how shiny or matte the surface appears. A lower roughness value makes the object look glossy, while a higher value creates a matte finish. Metallic. This controls how metallic the surface appears. Increasing it gives your object a shiny, reflective look, perfect for simulating metals like steel or gold. Play around with these sliders to see how they impact the appearance of your model. Adding textures to your material. Textures add extra detail to your materials by simulating patterns or surface imperfections. For example, you can use a wood texture to make a cube look like a plank. Here's how. 1. In the Material Properties tab, go to the base color and click the small yellow dot next to it. 2. Choose Image Texture. 3. Load an image file such as a wood or brick texture. Textures can also be used for other material properties, like roughness. For example, adding a roughness texture can simulate worn or uneven surfaces, making them look more realistic. If your texture doesn't align properly, you'll need to adjust the UV mapping, which we'll cover next. Understanding UV mapping. UV mapping determines how a texture wraps around your 3D object. Think of it like wrapping a gift. If the paper doesn't fit correctly, the pattern won't look right. To fix this, 1. Select your object and go into Edit Mode by pressing Tab. 2. Unwrap it using Smart UV Project from the UV menu, you shortcut. This automatically generates a UV map that works well for most beginner projects. You can preview the result in the UV Editor to ensure the texture aligns properly. Working with the Shader Editor. The Shader Editor allows you to create advanced materials by connecting nodes. At first, it may seem complex but understanding the basics will open up a world of creative possibilities. 1. Open the Shader Editor from the bottom left corner of your screen and select it from the Editor Type menu. 2. You'll see a simple node setup for your material. The principled BSDF shader is the heart of your material, controlling properties like color, roughness, and metallic. The Material Output node displays the final material on your object. You can enhance your material by adding additional nodes. Bump Node Use this to create the illusion of surface details like scratches or bumps without adding extra geometry. Connect a black and white texture to the bump node for detailed effects. Mix shader node. Combine two materials or textures for unique results, such as a shiny metallic surface with matte areas. Take your time experimenting with nodes to create custom materials. Tips for materials and textures. 1. Use high-quality textures for better results. Websites like Polyhaven offer free, high-resolution textures. 2. Experiment with nodes in the shader editor to create unique looks. Even simple setups can produce amazing results. 3. Enable Material Preview mode in the viewport to see how your material looks in real time. 4. Combine textures with procedural techniques, like noise or gradients, for infinite possibilities. Materials and textures are essential for making your models look professional and engaging. Take some time to experiment with colors, textures, and nodes to create your own unique designs. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with what you'd like to learn next. Happy blending!